Well, <clears throat> it's about 4.20 in the morning, milking time. I'm getting some insulated coveralls on because it is cold. We got about 28 last night, so it's going to be chilly this morning. I probably should have just woke Aiden up, made him go out and milk today, just say I couldn't, I didn't feel like it. <laughs> I'm just joking, just joking. Got the fire going. Oh, it feels so good inside. When it starts getting cold like this and I'm not used to it, I like cold weather. But when I'm not used to it, it's hard to walk out and get very cold first thing in the morning. But frost on the ground, I figure some of our vegetable stuff has probably uh, ceased to exist, which, you know, it's, it's about that time. Time to get milking, so put my hood on. I'm trying to stay as warm as I can. Uh, let's get our cows milked. Good morning, Jojo. Good morning, Abby. This is a beautiful full moon now. This is born. Gorgeous stars. I know y'all can't hardly see them, but they are beautiful. All right. First morning chores finished. It's cold. I'm ready to go sit by the fire for a little bit until it becomes daylight. Thirty-six weeks and some days. That in it, and it's December, so that means it's baby month. Um, it's eight thirty this morning. I have my checkup with the doctor, and that's what. The house is getting crazy. We're getting ready to go see her. Not only how I will be allowed to go in, but we're gonna head to the doctor this morning and check on baby Livy. Okay, y'all. I've got the kids all settled. I have made it to the doctor's office, so I'm about to mask up <laughs> to get in the door and um, go in for Livy's appointment. Y'all ain't never seen me with my mask on, <laughs> but we are in the room, Livy and I, and we're about to get checked, so we're going to kind of see how I've progressed. I have had some Braxton Hicks, um, nothing major, nothing intense, so... We'll see. I forgot to turn my phone on and give y'all an update before I pulled out. So I'm going to try to do this while I'm driving. I'm going to be watching the road. Um, great report. Everything looks great. Um, baby's measuring. She's measuring right where she's supposed to be. Um, I have dilated to two. Um, which is not uncommon for me. I tend to progress over several weeks and then baby comes rather quickly for us. Um, so right now everything is on track. Really, um, all of my previous five pregnancies, this is kind of the way I've progressed. So nothing unnormal. I got a really good report. Uh, I was able to talk to my doctor about um, wanting an all natural birth and no medical interventions unless necessary. Um, it's obvious, you know, when you're dealing with um, clinical physicians and hospital settings that they're not crazy thrilled about that. But, you know, at this point, that's just kind of my wishes. And um, I think she was maybe not extremely happy about it but was okay with, um, you know, the things that I had discussed with her. So I will go back um, in about two more weeks and reevaluate where we're at. And so everything looks good and I'm progressing as usual. First day checking on him. He's drinking his milk, eating his corn. He's doing a lot better. So whatever he may have had in his system, 
if it's something he had to clear out of his throat or if it's something he just needed to get over whatever happened he's doing a lot better so far so just seeing him eat makes me happy all right guys it's actually becoming sunset now uh misty had an appointment today so everything went good there uh, getting close to the baby so you can see it is it is cold out here uh, i've got to move the sheep i don't want to move them this late i really hate to move them this late but i got to so i'm gonna get them moved um and uh get them to some fresh grass they've ate this grass down really good it's gotten really cold and actually last night or actually yeah really we had some frost but last night was definitely our biggest frost so now we're starting to really see uh some cold weather so this this grass be knocked back so i need to get them on this fresh grass because this grass is too pretty to let the frost just kill it so come on guys we're gonna get them moved they'll follow this alfalfa bucket pretty good uh and let's let's get them off come on guys bye sheep 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 come on come on come on bye come on bye I know I sound stupid, but come on. Come on, guys. They really do good walking with me. All right, guys. All right. We got them in one net, so I got to go run and get another net right quick. Usually we move them with two people. If they're not. They're never a handful. Really cheap, really easy. But I need to get another net up. Usually we have another person there just kind of helping. So it's just me. So I'm going to pop this net down real quick and uh, get it around them right quick. got the net right here I'm gonna let y'all keep an eye on them so they won't get out actually just finishing up their alfalfa i gotta scoot this fence back just a little bit i'll leave just an opening for me to get their sheep shawl in here their sheep mobile if you hadn't seen how we built that sheep mobile and it really works go back and watch that video it's a good video so let's get this net moved back once we gotta just scoot it back just a little bit and uh move to the next chore we got some new seed you know, I've been telling you, we got some new pasture seed. We put some of it out the other day. The other shipment came in, so we're going to go get it today from uh, a place that delivered close to the house. So we got to go get it real quick before it gets dark. I don't think we'll get to seed it tonight, but uh, we got to move the turkeys, make the turkey net bigger. If you remember me talking about having to, uh, you know, acclimate the ducks and the turkeys, uh, the new ducks, excuse me. I did it in a shocker knot. Well, that net, of course, is not big enough. So we're going to go ahead and put them in the big net, then take the shocker knot down. That'll give the turkeys a little bit more room. Now, this other net over here, just because it's getting late and I have nobody with me with Aiden and all, I'm going to come back and get it tomorrow. And that way, because uh, it's not hurting anything, it's up, it's off the ground. So it will be just fine. So we're going to move their, their sheep, mobile, charger, water, and we'll be ready and to go to the next project before dark. All right, you can see the sun is going down in a matter of 10, 15 minutes. Sheep are moved. We're gonna try to spotlight the turkeys, get them moved and go pick up that seed right quick. And uh, we're about to call it a night. Okay guys, I'm gonna get where you can kind of somewhat see me, but it's, it's dark now. We've got the seed in. We'll tell you a little bit about its brand and everything. If it goes like it's supposed to and plants like it's supposed to, we'll do a video dedicated on this pasture seed. We're excited to try it out. We'll see how it goes. 
We also got some wood because it's mo cold here in the south. And we're gonna end our night putting a uh, new net up for the turkeys and ducks. You see they're in the shocker knot. I don't know if you can see that. But the whole point of that shocker knot was to teach the ducks not to get out because it's got the small bottom. So now we're gonna expand them, put them in this bigger net, and call it a night. Net is up. As crazy as it's been with me outside at night and you going to do baby stuff, <laughs> it is what kind of night tonight? Sandwich night and leftover night. <laughs> <laughs> so he can get the leftovers and we get the eggs and sandwiches. Is that what it is? Yep, and fruit. We really did do a pig update. We did check on him. He seemed to be eating a little bit, yeah. but not just crazy amounts. But he's well, not moving around though, and running and around seems to be better, just a little better. So we are going to finish up. We are going to give you an update on the pig. Uh, I think we lost mostly everything because you saw it was a major frost this morning. So it got really cold really quick. Was it cold on you today? Doing all your hands in town? Yes, but you know what? I had, didn't even think to go check the stuff in the greenhouse. I think I want to go in and there, but we, I don't think we did any of that. We didn't. Uh, hopefully it'll be okay. It was a bad fall. Those this is a typical supper of us. That's how you get him quiet when he looks at the camera. <laughs> That's the only time he's quiet, by the way. Yeah. All right, guys, so we're going to end this vlog. God bless. Happy Homestead, y'all. Happy Homestead, y'all. Happy Homestead, y'all. Happy Homestead, y'all. Happy Homestead, y'all.